can turn the world down with her smile Who can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little movement you show it Love is all around, no need to waste it You can never tell, why don't you take it You're gonna make it after all You're gonna make it after all The thing I like about our snowman is he has a very nice personality. You're right. Good listener. And a nice, broad smile. Well, he'd have had a broader smile if we hadn't run out of coal. Right. Oh, Stephen, look at our snowman. Gee, I wish I knew someone to fix him up with. He seems so lonely out there. I know. Hey, you know any nice snow ladies? <laughs> nice apartment. Oh, thank you. I just redecorated. I like your snowfall, too. First snowfalls are terrific, uh, huh? They are one of life's great firsts. Listen, Mary. Before I go, I think I should tell you. You were great out there today. The way you rolled the head and all. Oh, well. I mean, most girls I know don't roll. They kind of mush. Yeah. Well, I've never been a musher. Ma'am, can you get the door? I, I have no hand. Oh, Hi. Uh, Rhoda oh. Morgan Stern, this is Stephen Linder. Oh, hello, Stephen. Hi. Forgive my foliage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm babysitting with Rhoda's plant. She's going skiing for a couple of days. Oh, you picked a good time for it. Yeah, we try to wait for winter. <laughs> I've got my gloves on. That must mean I'm leaving. Hey, Stephen, thank you for a terrific Sunday. Yeah, it was super. Bye, Mary. Bye. Bye, Rhoda. Oh, so long, Stephen. Well, I uh, met him at the market this morning. Isn't that funny? I was there yesterday. They were all out of him. <laughs> you mean you two just met, Mary, and you spent the day together frolicking through the snow? Yeah. Ah, another one of those great life things that come free with straight teeth and button noses. <laughs> Mary, sometimes I think you live in a shampoo commercial. What? Well, you know those shampoo commercial girls, they're always getting rid of their split ends and falling in love outdoors. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, you know what we did today? What? Angels in the snow. What is that, a Weight Watchers recipe for pretend ice cream? <laughs> I know, six ice cubes, a pound of air. No, come on, it's this thing you do in the snow, you lie down. Now, wait a minute, please, Mary, I don't want to hear this about you. Come on, they did it in Love Story. You lie down in the snow and you flap your arms and your legs back yeah. and forth together. And that's how you make angels in the... <laughs> you did that in yes. public? Listen, I'm going to do it this week skiing. Maybe I'll get mistaken for Ally McGraw. <laughs> Terminal but cute. <laughs> hey, that's right. When do you get back? Oh, Thursday. Mary, i got to pack you. I'm leaving in just two hours. Hey, Rudy, you want to know something funny? Stephen and I had a great time together. I mean, I know he liked me, yeah. but he didn't ask for my phone number or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, insecurity's half the fun, right? <laughs> True. Hey, have a good time. Oh, thanks, kid. Bye-bye. Oh, about Fern there. All you have to worry about is that she get lots of water mm -hmm. and lots of love. Not too much love, Fern. You get pregnant, I'm not paying for the pruning. <laughs> Mary, you're in one of those real chipper moods, aren't you? Well... One of those I might start humming any time moods, right? Well... Well, I'm not in one of those moods. I'm in one of those I hate Monday's guts moods. Bad weekend, huh? Uh, well, my wife thought it was hilarious when the blizzard came up right after I put the full fertilizer on the lawn. <laughs> she said we'd have the greenest snow on the block. <laughs> now, look, don't think I'm taking this out on you, Mary. No. Because I'm oh. going to take this out on everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. Mayor? Hey, Mayor, how's the boy? 
You're Ted. Does it worry you that you're Ted? <laughs> well, was your weekend as great as mine, Mary? Yeah, Ted, it was a pretty nice weekend. Guess what I did on my weekend? Morning, everybody. Hi, Morning. <laughs> Come on, guess. I'll give you a hint. My weekend was sensational. Ted, we don't want to hear about it. What did you do this weekend, Mr. Grant? Oh, my granddaughter's hamster died, and I had to go to the funeral. <laughs> hey, don't you get it? Sensational? I just hope they cry like that when I die. <laughs> Come on, guys. I didn't get to tell what I did on my weekend. I'll wait till you're off, Mayor, and I'll give you another hint. Newsroom. Stephen, hi. Hey, you remember that I work here. Would, uh, gee, I'd love to, but I can't take the day off now. I mean, I'm already in the day. <laughs> well, about the earliest that I could take the day off would be, uh, 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. All right, I promise to act like it's morning. Bye. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I did on my weekend. I got consummated. Did you take something for it? Tacky Lodge. They use margarine in their hot buttered rum. What about the skiing? The skiing? A disaster. I found out my center of gravity is somewhere in New York. Oh. Come on, you're a good skier. No, Mary, you're confusing me with you. Remember last year? You were better than I at skiing. I was better than you at standing in the lobby, going in the elevator, being in my room. No. Those are my specialty areas, yes. Gee, that smells good. What is that? Tarragon chicken. Tarragon. Now, that's one of those spices that nobody really knows what it is. They all pretend they do. Well, Stephen likes it. Stephen? <gasps> Flapping in the snow, Stephen? Yeah. Mary, are you seeing him a lot? Well, yeah, I guess so. No kidding. Gee, that's interesting. What do you mean, that's interesting? No, I'm just, I'm surprised because he doesn't seem to be your type. Oh, yeah? Well, what type did he seem to be? Oh, listen, maybe I, I shouldn't even have brought it up. I mean, it's silly. But you know me once I get started. No, no, forget it. Forget no, it. go ahead. What? Well, Mary, uh, it's just that Stephen seems short. Short? In age. He's a little short in the age, Mayor. <laughs> yeah, I know. But come on, age doesn't make any difference. I mean, what's two or three years? It's true. I agree with you. Age doesn't make any difference. And it's more than two or three years. <laughs> I mean, uh, are you saying you uh, think he's 30? I'd say he's 30, 31, 29. 27, maybe 27 and a half. Come on, 27. Seven. Does it bother you? No! I just happen to know he's older than 27. Listen, there are ways to find out his age. Rhoda, I'm not interested in finding out his age. How? <laughs> Can I come in? The wine and me have to be served at room temperature. If the wine has a cute name, he's under 30. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Mary. Hi, Rhoda. Hi, Stephen. Thank you. Granny's apple pizzazz. <laughs> I gotta go. Listen, enjoy your tarragon, you two. Bye, Rhoda. Bye. This must be good wine. It has a cork. <laughs> hey, Rhoda's a great girl. Yeah, but, uh, she's not a girl. Huh? I mean, she's 33. Oh, yeah? My sister's 33. Hey, Stephen, I'm 33. Oh. Huh. How old are you? 25. <laughs> Somehow, Mary, I don't think this is you. Well, we're here. Let's look around. We might find something we like. No, kid. 
the uh, flying Bonzinis wouldn't find anything they like. <laughs> Here, we look at this. I mean, you put on these boots, you start walking towards sailors. <laughs> well, this is kind of cute, don't you think? Mary, I hate this store. I mean, it's trying too hard. I like a store that's happy to just lie there and rip me off. <laughs> Miss, what's the name of this store? Shot down in Ecuador, Junior. What? I, I can't hear you. Shot down in Ecuador, Junior. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Well, you know. Hey, I just work here, you know. <laughs> Mary, why are we in this place? Because I'm all out of other places and I gotta find something to wear to the party Stephen's taking me to. But I like the stuff in your regular places. Usually you like the stuff in your regular places. I'm having trouble finding my size. Oh, Mary, this store doesn't use anything as mundane as sizes. These clothes are divided according to astrological sign. <laughs> you, my dear, take a bull. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if shy people shop here. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of this on. Mary. Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you have this orange top in white in medium? I only have the orange top in white in small. Oh, well, uh, do you have the pink top in green in medium? I may have the pink top in white in medium. Could you check? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Hey, Mary. Mary, listen to this. A friend is someone who's friendly. A friend is someone who's friendly. Even when it's raining. Even when it's nighttime. Even when it's snowing. Even when it isn't. 350. I only have the pink top in medium and blue, but I will check on the green top in medium and white, okay? Yes, fine. Good. Well, come on out, kid. Let's see how something looks. <laughs> it's sort of interesting, don't you think? They're a lot cuter off. <laughs> Mary, take a look in the mirror there, huh? <laughs> See, Mayor, these clothes are too young for you. Rudolph, what does that mean? Mary, I know you're upset and uptight because you're going to meet Stephen's friends for the first time at his party, and you are trying to fit in. Suddenly, you're not Mary Richards. You're Mary Richards' teen queen. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. Sure you would. Look, kid, anybody would. Anyone who's feeling funny about an age thing? Rhoda, I just want to find something cute to wear to the party, okay? Okay, okay. Did you find any tops? I'm sorry, we're closed. <laughs> okay, okay, you might be right about the clothes thing. But the age thing is no big deal, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, except for the clothes thing, the age thing would never occur to me. Did you ask Stephen his age? Yes, I did. Did he tell you? Yes. What? I forgot. I... <laughs> Some... Number. <laughs> Mary, Ted just asked me if he could dedicate the news. Dedicate the news? To Dottie in memory of a wonderful weekend. <laughs> That's Ted. Hiya, babe. Oh, Stephen, hi. Uh, Mr. Grant, I'd like you to meet Stephen Linder. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Well, uh, yeah. what are you doing here so soon? Am I late or are you early? Oh, well, we had to move the party to my place, so I have to get there early. So, are uh, you ready? Uh, no, I'm, I'm right in the middle of... Well, can't you just duck out? No, I can't. I'm one of the ones who tells on people who duck out. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll just go on over and you can meet me there. Okay. Listen, I'll ask Rhoda to come to the party. Is that all right? Oh, sure. You got the address, right? Right. Okay. See you later. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mary? We're friends, right? Right. Huh? I mean, we've skirted around some pretty heavy issues together, right? Right. Yeah. Well, um, I am going to 
put this as gently as I can, Mary. You are ruining your life and driving a stake through the heart of all those who love you. <laughs> Mary, you're a young man. He's a young man. Mr. Grant. You're making a mistake. That kid is nobody for a, a medium age girl like you. <laughs> no. Not now, Ted. I mean, if it were anyone else, Rhoda may be. You or... know, I am really, really. T.O.'d, Mayor. T.O.'d. But out, Ted. I think it's time I said something here, Lou. No, it's not, Ted. I'm sorry, Lou, but I have to speak frankly. <laughs> Mary's involved in an autumn spring affair. <laughs> That's her business. Usually it's the man who's autumn, but what difference does it make? <laughs> I myself am into a heavy autumn spring thing. Look, if you two don't mind, I find this extremely none of your business. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to staple this. <laughs> I'm going to staple it. <laughs> Mary? Okay. So it's none of my business. And I agree with him, Mary. It's none of his business. <laughs> this tonight. I'm making some popcorn, and I gotta go over my checkbook. Something's wrong. The balances. <laughs> but gee, Rhoda, I was sort of hoping, you know, that... Shh, Mary, you hear that? Mary, you and I are in on one of nature's most precious moments. A new popcorn is being born into the world. <laughs> yes, Mary, somewhere out there an ear of corn is passing out cigars. <laughs> That's it, baby. Rhoda, I need you to go to this party with me. Rhoda? Anyway, you'll have a good time there. And listen, what good is sitting alone in your room? I should come hear the music play, right? <laughs> now, I really don't want to go there. You know what's great about this wig? No one would ever guess it's a wig. Who would go out and pay money for anything this ugly? <laughs> well, okay, I'll uh, see you later. Wait. Mary, I don't want to be at a party with those younger guys. Really. I mean, they always end up saying the same thing to me. You know what's incredible, Rhoda? I'm totally unaware of the vast difference in our ages. <laughs> you see why I need you there? You can make jokes about it. I mean, I'm not laughing about the age thing these days. Okay, kid, I'll go. Will you really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait, Mary. Oh, I'm expecting a guy in about 15 minutes. I forgot. Well, then you can't go. No, my friend. I will go with you. No, really, I'll leave him a note. Write it for me while I change. Yeah, sure. Uh, what'll I say? Uh, just start with, uh, Dear Pizza Man. <laughs> Closing number at my prom. <laughs> my date got beat up to this song. <laughs> hey, my life is their nostalgia. I wonder where Stephen is. Uh, well, let's sit down. The maitre d' seems to be on a break. <laughs> Which one is Mary Richards? Oh, hi, I am. Hey, and? And Rhoda Morgenstern. Hey, I'm Beck Wilson, hi. Steve's roommate. Steve went out to get some ice. May I take your coats? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Make yourself at home. There's wine in the kitchen. Okay. okay. Rhoda, do you realize that you and I are the only two in the room wearing eyeliner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mary, there's Stephen. Stephen! Hi! Hi, babe. Let me just put this ice down. Okay. Mm. So I'm gonna get us some wine. Good. Hello, how 
are you? Why do you ask that now? <laughs> Thank you, Beck, for washing out the paper cups. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. You and Mary should really hitchhike across country this summer. So we really get your heads together. Well, I'd do it. But uh, I don't think my wig case would fit in a knapsack. <laughs> so, Mary, I hear you work in TV. Yes, I do. Yeah, we're both kind of into the same thing. Oh, really? What do you do? Well, I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. So, what are we talking about? Well, Mary and I were just talking about her maybe hitching cross country this summer. Oh. Well, see, I don't really hitch that much. So. Yeah, <laughs> the most we hitch is never. <laughs> then for sure you guys got to hitch in Europe because it's really easy to get rides there, like Amsterdam. Amsterdam is so great. I was there for a month and I ran out of money, but like people there just kept giving me money. People kept giving you money? What people? People I went up to and asked for money. <laughs> Well, I've been to Amsterdam, so... You know, it's my favorite city. Hey, I was there, too. You know where we stayed? Where? Outside. <laughs> Where'd you stay? Inside. Really? Friends of mine stayed there, too. We're inside. Uh, it was the Amsterdam Hilton. I wasn't there that much, though. You know, really just to sleep there. It was... One of their funkier rooms. When were you in Amsterdam? Uh, the summer I was 21. When was that? 12 years ago. 12 years ago, I was running for hall monitor at Franklin Roosevelt Junior High. <laughs> See, 12 years ago, what were you doing? Just starting puberty. I know exactly where I was. I was at a party like this. Sitting on a couch like this, drinking wine from a paper cup like this. You've come a long way, baby. <laughs> now, now, I'll get the coats. Anything wrong? Well, it's. It's just that you and I were at the same party, and I think we really had different times. Oh, no, we didn't. What kind of time did you have? Not so great. What, what kind of time did you have? Fantastic. I had a terrific time. This is the best party we ever had. Do you think this means something? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Well, I guess you're right. Good night, Stephen. Good night. Thank you, Beck. It was a marvelous party. Hey, Rhoda, don't go yet. We're gonna go downtown and goof on people. <laughs> goof on people? What's that? You know, walk around, act weird, hope somebody notices. <laughs> That's my life, kid. <laughs> Say, hey, Mayor, would you and your autumn spring guy care to double date at the drive-in movie with me and my spring autumn gal? Uh, no, I don't think so, Ted. Stephen and I aren't seeing each other anymore anyway. Oh, really? How come? That's Mary's business, Ted. Was it that age bugaboo thing, Mayor? No, Ted, it wasn't a difference in age. It was a difference in people. I mean, I still really think that age doesn't matter if two people are right for each other. I know it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, the game of amour. <laughs> no kidding, Mayor. Take this, take this autumn spring thing that I'm into. Well, <laughs> Actually, I can't count myself as autumn. I'm more like late summer. <laughs> Let's say the end of August, mid-July. Well, why quibble? I'm later than Memorial Day, but earlier than Labor Day. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I take that back. Actually, I'm more like the 4th of July. I mean, firecrackers, picnics in the park, doubleheaders, birth of a nation, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>